there's no question we are in the midst of a massive platform shift. We now have a new superpower. We have a reasoning engine that gives us predictive capability. We have a reasoning engine that will give us more insights. When we talk about AI, you can distill it into a more natural interface using natural language, a reasoning engine that works on top of all your data, giving you more power. Every software category as we know of it is fundamentally going to be transformed by these two changes in the platform. Now, of course, it's going to create a massive platform opportunity, and we've seen this before, whether it's the PC server, the web internet, mobile cloud, have been massive in terms of all the sectors of the economy. The co-pilot ecosystem is what drives the AI advantage for us collectively, with, and, and really the AI advantage for our customers that we can deliver. So that's what's really exciting. We're going to have 40 plus announcements, 40 plus innovations, and I wanted to highlight five of them. The first is I am really thrilled to be announcing Bing Chat Enterprise. Like, this is the feature, this is the product, this is the moment in some sense that every CIO, CISO, business user has been waiting for. Give me Chat GPT that I can use with all the enterprise data privacy and security guarantees, and you have it now. With Bing Chat Enterprise, between Bing Chat Enterprise and the Microsoft 365 Copilot, knowledge work and knowledge workflow. Good morning, everybody. How are you? We introduced the new Bing, your AI-powered co-pilot for the web. And the response has been nothing short of incredible. We've had over one billion chats to date. And since that launch, we've had literally over 100 new improvements and new features we've rolled out. And today I'm excited to introduce to you two of them, Multimodal Visual Search and Bing Chat Enterprise that Saatchi just announced. First, let's talk about the new Visual Search. Leveraging the power of GPT-4, Bing Chat now accepts images as well as text. It'll actually analyze an image that you upload and give you insights and answers related to that image. Next, let's show you Bing Chat Enterprise, your AI-powered chat for work. I think this might be one of the biggest things that happens in generative AI this year. Since we've launched Bing, we've heard from many corporate customers who are clamoring for these powerful AI tools, but they're worried about their company data, that it won't be protected. In fact, some of these concerns from companies have actually led them to ban AI at work. Well, today, this morning, all that's gonna change. Bing Chat Enterprise now delivers commercial data protection for your AI-powered chats. This means your confidential business data won't leak outside your organization, your employees' data is not commingled with web data, data is not saved, no one at Microsoft can view your data, and the chat conversations in Bing Chat are not used to train the underlying AI model. Wait till you see what you can do with Microsoft 365 Copilot. It has all of the capabilities of Bing Chat Enterprise, plus so much more. Let's take a quick look here. I'm going to go in Teams now, and I can ask Copilot to access the information from a PowerPoint presentation to create a starting point for my written proposal. Notice how nice it is just to use these powerful AI capabilities within the flow of my work. I'm just in Teams, I point it at a document, and up comes this fantastic analysis. Microsoft 365 Copilot is integrated into the world's most popular productivity app tools like Word, PowerPoint, Excel, Outlook, and Teams. And as we shared at our initial announcement, there are an incredible array of new capabilities like automated team summaries, which I use every day now, which offer me a whole new way to work. Today, we unlock a new era of creativity and productivity as we bring the power of AI to work. Thanks very much. Thank you very much, Yusuf. A multimodal chat, work identity, and the Microsoft 365 Copilot is fundamentally going to transform knowledge work as we know of it, and really exciting to see. Another third announcement I have is also related to business process. In fact, the most important tool that perhaps all of us are going to use is to identify the opportunity for how we drive that AI advantage to every customer. 
it's all about process mining. So I'm very excited to announce the general availability of the process mining tools in Power Automate. This is the tool chain that every one of us can use to be able to first map out the processes, sales processes, finance, human resources, everything that you can think of, which is a business process, and then optimize that business process with the power of AI, things that can be automated, where you can deploy co-pilots to give the human in the loop the advantage to advance the business process. So process mining is perhaps the tip of the spear for you to be able to then drive additional value to every customer interaction, every customer deployment, and every customer project that you are engaged in. Now, talking about the fourth big area for, of announcement is Azure AI updates. The first thing I want to sort of start with is OpenAI. We build the infrastructure to train their large models. They're innovating on the algorithms and the training of these frontier models. We innovate on applications on top of it. You all get to innovate on top of it. It's a very unique way for us to do things that are going to really fundamentally shape. Now, speaking about all of the AI innovation, the other element is Microsoft loves open source. And so one of the things that we are very excited today is the announcement of Meta's Llama 2 coming to both Azure and Windows. Now with Llama 2, it takes it to the next level, and we are going to bring all of that to both Azure. And quite frankly, one of the most exciting things is to see these models even being optimized for Windows so that application developers now can take advantage of both the frontier models of OpenAI as well as the models that are available in open source to be able to transform every software category there is. So my last announcement is around the partner program. I'm really excited about our Microsoft AI Cloud Partner Program and all that we're going to do together to really help customers embrace what I call AI transformation. I want to build upon a slide that Satya showed a bit earlier, this notion of the co-pilot stack, the co-pilot ecosystem, and the AI advantage. Of course, we're really, really excited about all of the first party assets we're bringing to Microsoft Cloud Services you know and love and all of the new generative AI capabilities we'll have there. But honestly, that pales in comparison to the value that we'll be able to add together. Because at the end of the day, AI transformation is about solving for the business impact and applying technology to help customers achieve more like never before. We're bringing generative AI to all of the Microsoft Cloud services you know and love. And I'm going to show most of those to you here in just a moment. And I'm going to ask you to, to sort of play along with me a little bit here. I'm going to use a metaphor I like to call selling to all rooms in the house. So why does Judson like to talk about a house? I'm going to do a demo pretending that I'm a sales rep preparing for a customer meeting and opportunity. So Sales Copilot helps me always be confident that I'm ready and prepared for the meeting. So as part of that prep, I can go right inside of Outlook and I can easily see information about the opportunity, get a quick summary, as well as understanding what's top of mind for the customer. And every week I have so many meetings like this, this yeah. makes me be more prepared for dozens at a time without having to be worse at the meeting or having to spend a lot of time preparing. Now that I've gotten ready and gathered all that information together, I gotta go build the presentation for the meeting. So I turn to Sales Copilot, which integrates seamlessly with Microsoft 365 Copilot, so I can get an easily personalized view inside of PowerPoint based on existing documents as well as all of my CRM data. So this combination makes it easy for me to have the perfect deck for that meeting. Turns out two Copilots are even better than one when you bring these things together. Let's say I have a, a more generic problem and I know a little bit less about where the messes in my house might exist. How how might I use generative AI to explore more about my opportunities there? So in this case, we turn to something called process mining. Like Satya announced earlier, that's now part of Power Automate. And what process mining does is it ingests data from your systems of record. So it can be Dynamics, SAP, Oracle, ServiceNow, you name it, we can probably connect to it. And it takes all that data and gives you a view of how your business actually runs. What are the common workflows and processes? And if I look at this view here, I've configured it to do something called procure to pay. So this is once you decide to buy something, all the way out to when you actually issue the money. Yep to the vendor. And if you look, there are a lot of steps. It's very complex, and it's not easy to understand where I could use generative AI sure. here. 
But the good news is process mining also has a copilot. So on this right-hand side here, I can ask the copilot, what are the top insights that it has for me based on all the items that have executed as part of process mining? And I can see where is the, the common bottleneck, it's something associated with requisition approve, how many times it occurs in each time that it executes. And I say, okay, what's driving that bottleneck? Copilot can also help me with that. So it looks at that process information, uses a large language model, and tells me I have an issue associated with compliance checks for, to prevent yep. maverick mine. So that's my opportunity to, to improve and use Gen AI to improve the, the processes. So Copilot can also help with that. Now that we have the data estate in order, we get invited to one of the most important floors of the house, and that's the CISOs floor, where there's a lot of security analysts out there working on thwarting all of the bad actors. Unfortunately, if there's one thing that's not slowing down in this day and age, it's the rise of, of bad actors. And so co-pilots can really actually help rationalize the CISO floor in the building, and we're going to show you how we do that. Olivia, come up on stage and let's show this off. Now, resolving an incident that could take multiple specialists using dozens of different tools, spending days or even weeks of time doing so. Now, that just isn't realistic. So what we're going to see here is how Security Copilot is making an investigation faster and easier for teams, enabling them to do more with less. OK, from a simple natural language prompt like Analyze Incident, Copilot then suggests some of the highest priority active incidences that an analyst can dive into. So what we're going to see is how Copilot creates a plain English summary of what's happened. And this Super. is based on trusted authoritative information like Microsoft Defender and Long Files. Not only to build, design, and engage, infuse AI into those, if you're in consumer goods or manufacturing or energy, your house is likely a factory. So to show this example, I'd like to welcome Andy Pratt. OK, so today we're going to dive into the work we're doing with Ecolab. So if you don't know Ecolab, they are literally a world leader in water and sustainability solutions. But they also have like thousands of frontline workers who every day are going into these really complex industrial sites. So first of all, we've got to turn the physical world into a digital one. So to do that, we've partnered with Hexagon, who, among other things, have these incredible handheld scanners. So this allows me to literally walk around a facility. It's taking millions of laser measurements real time, it's taking photogrammetry, it's slamming it all together, and I get this incredible high fidelity twin and representation of the space. So from there, we move into one of my favorite things, which is let's build out a full digital twin. The largest sales force in the industry and the scale of the Microsoft commercial marketplace. 